Hey. Welcome back, all you OGs. Whether you're an online gamer, an original gangster, or just an old geezer like me, this is Yuli 1961 for Old Gamers Never Die, and I'm back on Atlas. I get this question probably once a week or so, and it is, where do I find toxic flora? You did a video on taming, I'll link it in the description, but you didn't tell us where to get flora. Well, I think kind of did, but I think people are under the conception that the only way you can get toxic flora is to go to an island that has it. And that's hard to find. I'm playing on whale solitude right now. And unfortunately my single player event kind of crashed. So I can't go back to my old character. So this is a new guy, but if you're looking for toxic flora in season 13, as of the recording of this video, it's on B4 and I'll show you on the map. Let's take these things off. This is the island you want to go to. And it's right down here where you can see not on your life. Now, this island is what you're looking for in whatever map you're on. So that's where you want to go and you'll find these. And this is toxic flora in the wild. So it does exist on the map. It doesn't tell you anywhere in that anti-hacks website where it is. But one thing you can look for is an island and this is an equatorial island, okay? So you're looking for an equatorial island, one that has ants, bats, spiders, and fresh water. But I'm just trying to prepare you for whenever the map changes seasons and they wipe it and they start all over into where it might be. But right now it's in the bottom left island in B4. That's the one that's got it. And so there's a trick to this. <laughs> if you go in here and try to harvest it with a tame, like a bear or a giraffe or something, they'll swipe at it and they'll get all this stuff around it, but they won't get this. If you use a sickle, I don't, I don't think I have one on me right now, but if you use a sickle, same thing. It's just going to, it's just going to go through it. See, even like, it just like a, act. it just goes right through it. So the only way you can get this stuff is you have to pick it. You have to hand pick it and see, I got six toxic flora and I got four more and I got 11 more and some more. This is the only way you can harvest it. You can't harvest it with a sickle. You can't harvest it with a tame. You have to hand harvest it. And so we did this. There's some more over here. Go ahead and grab it all this little patch now i think they've got the harvest rate set under this event right now of like four times so what do we get 131 at 4x so you're probably looking at what 20 maybe 30 at 1x if that's all you get but that's how you can get it and it'll grow back and you can come back here and farm it all you want Okay, so that's that's the island that you can go to to find toxic flora in the wild. Now, if you're playing on single player, you got a lot bigger map to look at. I would be willing to bet this island right here, which is equatorial, it has ants, it has cave bats, it has spiders, and it has fresh water. I would think you might find it there as well. One of these islands here in this quadrant has probably got the mushroom. So you can take a look there and see it's not too far off of where you're going to spawn in anyway and give it a shot. But Yules, I don't want to travel all over everywhere. I don't want to look for this island. I don't want to go build a boat just to go get toxic floor. I need it now. I need it right away. Well, there's a simple way to do that. And I'm going to show you how so that you don't have to go searching for this stuff. This is really simple. Okay, I'm back at the boat. Go to my smithy. Look in here. And I want to, if I've got tier two taming, which is what I'm going to need to be at if I'm making a bait station and I'm going to need toxic flora for it, you just go into your smithy and put in swarm house. I can make two with what I got in here. What, do I, what am I? Well, thatch is what I don't have a lot of. Oh, well, I mean, let's go ahead and make two. All right, and then you just put them in your inventory and you're going to want to go onto the island of your choice. It doesn't have to be this island. What you need to do is you need to go to that anti-hacks website that I, I showed you in a previous video on how to get resources and look up an island that's got ants anywhere near you. We're going to go out here and we're going to see if we've got some ants out here. 
Okay, this didn't quite work out the way I thought it would. The island that had all the toxic flora on official, we're, we're late in the season and pretty much the whole island is peppered with claim towers, so you can't really place anything. So I came back to my private server and we're gonna go through this exercise really quick, just show you how this thing works. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spawn in an ant, right? So you're going through the woods, you find the ant. Doesn't matter what island it's on, you're looking for finding ants, all right? And then we're gonna take that spawn warm house that we have and I'm just going to plop it down where the ants are and when that ant comes over here he's already gone he gets sucked up in there and if you hold the E key down on the keyboard at PC go to view tame information there he is he's inside of there and I can pop him back out by selecting him and hitting unload and he's right there and he's tamed. It's instantly tamed as soon as it goes in there. All right. And then all you've got to do is you won't have, it's not going to show that it's following you, but if you whistle pointing at it and do the, just the direct whistle, it's going to follow you. And you can set it to follow just like any other animal behavior, distance to follow. And if you put it on low or lowest, going to follow you all the way onto your ship. We'll do this one more time. We're going to do another ant. That'll probably fight him. That's probably the way this will work, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. Oh, yep, they're going to fight. <laughs> and then you can tell him to stop by just say whistle stop and he'll stop. All right, so we're going to leave this guy over here. We're going to spawn in another ant just so you can see the whole process. And you may have to circle the trap, but there he goes. Poof. And he's in there. And like I said, he's instantly tamed. You don't have to worry about popping him back out right after you do it. So if you go to an island that's not yours and you want to get some ants, you can do it this way. They're instantly tamed. But once you get back to your island, you're going to want to make one of these and put all your ants in there. So you just lead them up to it and then hit load nearby tames and it'll grab that other one and it puts it in there. So now I've got both of my ants. I got three ants in there. Look at that. <laughs> the ones that we're fighting got in there anyway. Okay. So we've got ants in there now. Okay. Big deal. Yules. Well, the ants passively produce toxic flora over time. The trick that you're going to have to worry with, and this is why I say you want to need to build one of these by your base, is that they only generate it when you're nearby. So if you leave this on the island, say you have to go a couple grids over to find ants or another island over to find ants, and you leave it sitting there, then what will happen is it's just they're just going to sit in there. You don't have to feed them. They won't starve to death but they're not going to produce any toxic flora. They need to be around where your base is. So go get your ants, put them in here. When you're got to have many you want to tame, remember your boat, this will count as crew because they're not going to be inside of anything. Now, if you have a modular ship, oh, I hate modular ships, but the one use I've found for them is you can put tame rails on them. And if you put a tame rail on it, you can take these guys over and load them into your tame rail and they won't count as crew on your boat. But if you just bring them onto your boat, they're going to count as crew because they're going to be standing on the deck. Okay. So all you gotta do is unload it. They'll all pop out. There they are. You can hit follow all. Make sure all these guys are following you close. Cause you're going to get, you're going to have to get over to the boat and sometimes you can E them onto the boat and sometimes you can't. So let's get them all following close. Okay. And then we're going to go. Now they don't move very fast. As you can see, kind of lowest. No, they're all on. There we go. All right. So they're all following close. So they're going to follow me. Where'd this guy come from? I got another one. We're getting ants everywhere. <laughs> Okay. We got bunches of ants. All right. So here we go. They're all following me. They're going to follow me into the water. And just like if you have a bear, they'll follow you onto the boat. See, here they are. And then you just hit 
Let's little stop. They'll all stop. And like I said, it doesn't show on top of them like other animals do that they're following you, but they will, and they'll stop when you tell them to. And then you can go do whatever you got to do. Go back to your island. You're good to go. Now I'll show you something else. This is something that you will need a tame rail for. So this, this swarm house, if you don't realize it already, is also the place that you get bees. So if you find a beehives, you want to put one of these down and get you some bees. And they'll get sucked into there just like the ants did. So let's spawn in a couple of bees here. Now I'm in creative, so they're going to fly around. They're not going to hurt me, but... Yep, he got sucked in there. Make sure. Yep, he's in there. But now I got a bee. The bees will passively produce honey over time. Let's get this a little bit easier to see. Now there's a buffer on here. It's about probably 10 seconds. Yep, he got sucked in there too. But all you gotta do is go run around this thing and they'll get vacuumed up into it. And they're also instantly tamed. Yep, two of them in there, okay. They're going to produce honey. The honey has been working whether you're around it or not. So the honey keeps producing even though nobody's there from what I've seen. Now they may have changed it in some recent patch or they may change it in the future, but it produces one honey in each one of those slots. So if you go in here and look, you see all this inventory area, it's going to produce one honey, one honey, one honey, or one toxic flora, one toxic flora. You can pull them out and then put them back in and they'll stack. But when they're making them, they just make them one at a time. And you can have different things in here making different items. So that's not a problem. And I'll show you. So the other thing that they'll catch is snakes. So we'll type in the command and we'll spawn a snake. Now they won't, they won't go after the cobras. They won't, they won't go in there, but the rattlesnakes will. And there he goes. The rattlesnakes over time will produce venom. Again, I've said it in my taming video. I, I don't, the venom in the taming bait station, it just makes them bleed and it does. Yeah. It'll take your health down, but the, <laughs> the knockout feature from the toxic flora is so much easier when you're taming. It's like hitting the easy button. All right. And now here's the other thing that I don't, there's a lot of people that don't realize this. And this is, this is kind of a cool thing to have. It's, it's kind of a trophy tame, <laughs> but you can also get far enough away so you can actually see it work. You can also tame these guys. Ah. And he's in there. One more time, just so you see, I'm not, I'm not fudging on this thing. Boop, there's a guy. Where'd he go? Did he already get sucked in? Wow. I gotta, I gotta get back further. Move around so fast. Where'd he go? He's already in there. So yeah, <laughs> make sure he's in here. So we have bees, we got a rattlesnake and we got three bats. And this, each swarm house will hold 10 different <gasps> animals. They'll hold ants, bees, rattlesnakes, and bats. Ants will produce toxic flora. As long as you're near the storm house while you're on. The toxic flora will spoil over time, but it doesn't spoil that fast. So you don't have to worry about it spoiling out while you're, you know, running around doing stuff and keep checking it, but it will spoil over time. Bees will produce honey and you don't necessarily have to be there for that. The rattlesnakes will produce venom and the bats will produce nitric fertilizer. So if you don't have a hatchery, you don't have room for a hatchery and you need that fertilizer, the high powered stuff, and you can get you some bats, then that's the thing to do. Now, if you want to transport these, it's not as easy as the ants. 
The snakes will climb onto the boat. That's not a problem. But the bats and the bees fly, and they don't fly very fast. So you're putting them on your boat, they won't land. They're just going to hover there, and then when you take off, you're going to leave them in the dust. So again, I'm, I, I hate to say <laughs> there's a use for the modular ships, but if you have a cog with a tame rail on it or anything like that, because you can get a cog pretty early on, and they're pretty cheap to build, put a tame rail on it, and then all you got to do is bring them over there and put them in the tame rail, and they'll transport just like any other team and then when you go to your base you pop them back out of the tame rail you have your swarm house set up and you can set up one for bats and one for ants and one for bees and one for snakes if you want but however you want to set your base up just understand that the the toxic flora will grow there but it only it's only going to grow when somebody's around it and it's not going to just grow passively if you you know set it up on another island somewhere and nobody's ever there except for when you want to go harvest it doesn't work that way anymore makes sense okay all right, well, <laughs> if you need toxic flora, you know where to go get it. You're in season 13. It's the island in B4 that we talked about, and there's lots of it. I mean, this is just one patch. You run around the outside of the island. There is plenty that you can pick. Now, the disadvantage of right now in the season, it's late in the season, and you see that claim tower behind me? This island's pretty well peppered with them, so you're probably not going to get a swarm house down on this island this late in the season. But, you know, you can still go here, pick all you want, and you'll have it if you're near B4. If you're not, and if you want to use this warm house, what you'll need to do is just go put one down where you've got some room to breathe. This is not the island for it. But you can pick up as much as you want. There's plenty around there. Just walk around the shore all the way around the island. There are clumps everywhere. All right, well, thank you so much for watching today. I hope this information helped you out and give you a direction to go even when the map refreshes and they wipe it at some point whenever that happens you know what to look for in the the resource map i still recommend the swarm house is the easiest all you do is find ants and you'll be set thank you so much for coming i really appreciate it thank you for all the support that y'all have given me on the channel i'm amazed every day about the comments that people leave and i really appreciate them if the video has been helpful to you consider leaving a like it really does make a difference for me out there in all the youtuberisms and and gets my video out there for more people to see and hopefully learn something new from. If you really enjoy the content, don't be afraid to hit that little white tic tac and subscribe to Old Gamers Never Die. It won't hurt a bit. <laughs> no, we really do appreciate all the support that y'all have given me on this channel. We're moving towards 4,000 subscribers. It just blows my mind. We also have an OG Discord. The link is in the description below. Make sure you come check us out at the Discord. There's always somebody in there. We've got our servers up for Ark, for Atlas, for Seven Days to Die, Valheim, and Conan. If you're interested in playing, it doesn't cost anything. Just come on out. Go to the Discord. You'll get the information to get to the servers and join the crew that's out there. We've got a great bunch of people that are playing. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap things up here. Y'all take care. Stay safe. Be good to each other. And until next time, this is Yuli signing out.